Call this meeting to order. If everyone could please stand and join us for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Roll call, please. Trustee Wilson. Here. Trustee Matson. Here. Trustee Galuza. Here. Trustee Smith. Here. Trustee Christofferson. Here. Trustee Scalise is absent. Mayor Balderman. Here. Make my way down. <coughs> really happy to be honoring one of our incredible young people here from the community, uh, Lizabella or Bella Dimitra Ev Itch. <laughs> was that good? I was kind of it was kind of choppy, but it was it was done. Dimitra Evich. I probably screwed it up that time. Bella is a junior from Lincoln Way Central and has been named 2023-24 Gatorade Illinois Softball Player of the Year. She is the very first softball player from Lincoln Way Central to be chosen for this award. The award, now in its 39th year, celebrates the nation's top high school athletes for excellence on the field, in the classroom, and in the community, and distinguishes Bella as Illinois' best high school softball player. Standing at 5'10", the right-handed pitcher posted a 26-3 record with a .54 earned, uh, earned run average this past season, leading the Lincoln Way Central Knights to the super sectional round of the Class 4A st state tournament. Over the course of the season, Bella struck out 354 batters while only allowing 49 hits with 13 walks in a total of 169.2 innings. She also had a batting average of 405 with eight home runs and 42 runs batted in. Bella is a member of the Croatian national team and will be participating in the Women's Softball European Championships in the Netherlands this September. Academically, she has maintained a weighted 4.36, you sold yourself a little bit short there, kid, 4.36 GPA in her three years at Lincoln Way Central. She was recruited by and offered full scholarships to all of the top softball colleges in the country and did recently commit to playing at Florida State University. On top of her athletic and academic success, Bella has also committed herself to volunteering locally at the Bayer Pulmonary Hypertension Association, helping to assist patients with limited mobility and has also given her, her time as a youth pitching instructor. And so on behalf of myself and the board here, Bella, we are honored to recognize you with this proclamation tonight and wish you the very best if you'd like to step up. We would love to hear from you. <laughs> uh, thank you, everyone, so much <laughs> for this. Introduce your, your guest. This is my dad, Alex, and my mom, Leanne. You have to talk until I get back to the chair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Congratulations to you. It's a, it's a wonderful honor. Thank you. And, um, and it, congratulations on all your other success. Obviously, I'm sure your parents are incredibly proud of you. We're proud of you, too, because um, this is a big recognition, not only throughout the state, but, but nationally. And so uh, New Lenox is affixed to it. So you're representing us very, very well. We're proud of you, and we wish you the best. And anything we can do to be supportive of you in the future, you let us know. Thank you. Good luck Thank at Florida you so State. Much. Well, you're in our year, but then uh, good luck off at college Thank as well. You. Thank you. Take care. Thanks for coming out. Uh, Bella is a phenomenal basketball player as well, yeah. just for the record. Uh, well, I mean, not anymore. <laughs> she had to she concentrate. Was. I think she picked she the right sport. Yeah. Although she probably I would have been so. here as a basketball player of the year had she had chosen to do that. No? no? Absolutely not. What were you, small guard? 
<laughs> Were you a guard? I was a guard. I didn't like the post. You didn't like the post? No. They call her a soft European, you know, going into the lane. <laughs> Croats, Croats aren't soft. That's all right. I agree with you. You're That's playing it. for one of the prettiest countries in the world. Thank you. Yeah. Been there, love it. It, it is phenomenal. It's, it, it's a place that I would not mind calling home. Croatia yeah. is gorgeous. Thank you. Yes. 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 Absolutely. Today in the world, in the European Championships. Yes. For those who follow. I don't, but it was, I'm sorry I will be. to hear that. <laughs> yeah, here you go. Well, congratulations again. Thank you very much for coming out tonight and have a safe Appreciate ride you. home. Thank you. Take care. Good luck. We'll see you. Good luck. All right. Next up is the consent agenda, which consists of seven items. They are the minutes of the regular meeting for June 10th, 2024, ordinance authorizing disposal of surplus property and authorizing a letter of agreement with the village of Markham to purchase said surplus property. Approval of purchase, two lift station pumps for public works. Approval of proposal, line striping public works. Raffle license for 2024 for Family Services Foundation in New Lenox Township, their food pantry. A surety release for Arby's. And a resolution appointing an additional alternate commissioner to the Public Water Commission of Frankfurt, Lockport, New Lenox, Rockdale, and Romeo. Does any member wish any of those items to be pulled and discussed separately? All right, if not, is there a motion to approve the consent agenda? So moved. Second. Motion by Trustee Smith, second by Trustee Wilson. If there's no comments or questions, roll call vote, please. Trustee Madsen? Aye. Trustee Galuza? Aye. Trustee Christofferson? Aye. Trustee Wilson? Aye. Trustee Smith? Aye. Mayor Baldwin? Aye. Motion carries. Okay, next up, we have consideration for approval of a waiver of subdivision code Jacobs Field Unit 5. Robin? Yes, um, the developer for Jacobs Field is requesting uh, permission to install the final surface course of asphalt um, up front with it, Unit 5. Um, they've done this with Units 4 and 3 as well, and there's not been any issues uh, in doing so. That does extend the warranty period um, to protect the village. Uh, the other issue that they are requesting is uh, they've ordered their street lights, but they anticipate that because of supply uh, chain issues that they may not be able to be installed before they're ready for permits for the subdivision. So they're also requesting a waiver of uh, the code in order to allow sub, uh, permits to be issued even though the lights are not installed. Uh, so staff is recommending approval. All right, questions for Robin on that? Just a quick one. With the, with the lights, will there be a time frame on that? Will they just have to make sure they're done before they have any occupancy, or is it more of just I think open-ended? Yeah, they've ordered them, so I think it's just an issue of as soon as they can get them, they'll have them installed. That, but but no. is there a catch-all at the end, or can they, if, if, if the supply chain it doesn't work and it lasts two years, can they have occupancy? If, I don't want to see it come back in front of us. Will they be able to have occupancy come in, uh, permits then, or will it all retreat back to the lights? No, typically we do not withhold occupancy permits because you know at that point you've got residents, future residents waiting to move in. So if we're going to hold them up, we prefer to do it before permits are issued. Okay. My thing was just with the lights. I, I understand we have, sure, we have I understand surety. We still have the the street lights are included in their surety. So. Yeah. Oh, do have I, that protection? I, don't, I don't I don't think they're not going to do it. I, 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 maybe I'm speaking wrong. I'm just wondering down the line, if they're still on backwater, will we allow people to move into their homes? Yeah. And yeah, for say, safety yes, purposes. I'm a problem with that. Yeah. But I, I don't want to see three months from now, it was my suggestion to do it, set it up now. So three months from now, we're not scrambling because we've got to set aside more ordinances to do this again. Yeah. That's my point. No, that's we, all my point. We typically oh. just wave it once. Yeah, that's, that's all my point. Oh, that's fair. That's good. Any other questions? All right. If not, then there is there a motion to approve the waiver of subdivision? So moved. Second. Motion by Trustee Smith, second by Trustee Galuza. If there's nothing further, roll call vote, please. Trustee Smith? Aye. Trustee Matson? Aye. Trustee Galuza? Aye. Trustee Christofferson? Aye. Trustee Wilson? Aye. Mayor Balderman? Aye. Motion carries. <laughs> All right, next we have consideration for approval of a professional services agreement with uh, Alta Survey for 250 East Maple Street, that's Silver Cross building, Rob? Yes, uh, so as part of our due diligence for the purchase of the building and the two adjacent vacant lots, we need to get an Alta Survey. Uh, so the proposal from HR Green uh, is in the amount not to exceed $7,800 and would be completed within four weeks. All right, any questions for Robin on that? 
No, all right, is there a motion to approve the professional service agreement with AltaServe? So moved. Second. Motion by Trustee Matson, second by Trustee Wilson. There's nothing further. Roll call vote, please. Trustee Matson. Aye. Trustee Galuza. Aye. Trustee Christofferson. Aye. Trustee Wilson. Aye. Trustee Smith. Aye. Mayor Balderman. Aye, motion carries. All right, also for that property is a consideration for approval and agreement for phase one environmental with Environmental Group Services Limited uh, to perform phase one uh, uh, environmental site assessment for the acquisition of that property. The cost is 1500 Kurt, anything else? No, we on we've that? used them for all of our other acquisitions as well. All right, very good. All right, any questions? All right, is there a motion to uh, approve the agreement for phase one environmental? So moved. Second. Motion by Trustee Matz and second by Trustee Wilson. Anything further? Roll call vote, please. Trustee Smith. Aye. Trustee Matson. Aye. Trustee Galuza. Aye. Trustee Christofferson. Aye. Trustee Wilson. Aye. Mayor Balderman. Aye. Motion carries. All right, board. Next up is uh, approval for design build contract for the Commons. As you all know, we've talked about this. This 2.5 million um, has been in the budget. It's one of the things that we wanted to see accomplished. There's some issues out there with safety, um, uh, with some concrete, uh, pedestrian walkway removal and replacement, roadway improvements, as well as sound system, uh, electrical, that sort of thing. Because this is gonna have to be done and starts and stops like that, it's not gonna be all the way through. We're looking to do a design build with Burke. Um, it, is in the, uh, uh, it is in the budget. However, uh, we would need to waive the bidding process in order to uh, do that here tonight. And it would carry into the second phase that it would be 4.5, but it would be over two years. And this is, as you stated, one of your strategic initiatives. Right. So any questions on this? We really need to get this done. It's lasted a long time. It's been almost 20 years. So, but there are issues out there with the pergola falling apart and concrete constantly uh, causing issues tripping also, is yeah. issues, electrical issues, we need to get on this. So. All right, any questions? Mm -hmm. All right, first I need a motion to approve waiving the uh, bid process. So, so moved. Second. Motion by Trustee Galuza, second by Trustee Smith. I'll, uh, let's do a roll call vote. Trustee Manson. Aye. Trustee Galuza. Aye. Trustee Christofferson. Aye. Trustee Wilson. Aye. Trustee Smith. Aye. Mayor Baldwin. Aye. Motion carries. All right, now I need a motion to approve the design build contract. So moved. Second. Motion by Trustee Christofferson, second by Trustee Wilson. Any comments or questions? Roll call vote, please. Trustee Matson. Aye. Trustee Galuza. Aye. Trustee Christofferson. Aye. Trustee Wilson. Aye. Trustee Smith. Aye. Mayor Balderman. Aye. Motion carries. All right, the same thing goes here, uh, board. Um, this is consideration for approval design build contract for Forest Street retain, retaining wall. As you know, taking care of some of those issues on the north side of town is something we've been working on for years and, and we're getting to that. Uh, Robin, you've got uh, what the picture up there. Yeah, yeah this is, this is a, a tricky area that we've had between Wood Street and Forest Street. We've had drainage. It, it, it actually wasn't formalized. We've gone back in and we will come and get it, a formal easement through here. This has been uh, gone through. There is a garage that is, uh, we don't know how it's standing today, um, but a little bit tricky with the design and we want to limit the, the, the contractors who would be able to bid on this. Got it. So, so we're looking to do a design build so it can correct, right? As opposed it to, will be, we to... will have bids on it, but it will not be just open up to a, a bid for, for everyone. Right. This is, this is a, needs somebody with exactly. So instead of us doing it where we have to just accept the lowest uh, bidder on that. Any questions on that? All right, at first I would uh, need to waive the bidding process again because we're looking for a design build. This is for 417,904 and has also been uh, included in our budgets to take care of these issues up north. All right, is there a motion to waive the bid process? So moved. Second. All right, motion by Trustee Galuza, second by Trustee Smith. Any comments or questions? Roll call vote, please. Trustee Matson. Aye. Trustee Galuza. Aye. Trustee Christofferson. Aye. Trustee Wilson. Aye. Trustee Smith. Aye. Mayor Baldwin. Aye, motion carries. Now I need a motion to approve the design build contract. So moved. Second. Motion by Trustee Smith, second by <laughs> Trustee Matson. Comments or questions? 
Roll call vote, please. Trustee Smith. Aye. Trustee Wilson. Aye. Trustee Christofferson. Aye. Trustee Galuza. Aye. Trustee Matson. Aye. Mayor Baldwin. Hi, motion carries. Thank you. Next up, we have consideration for approval of purchase for unmanned aerial vehicles. These are the drones. Uh, we really need this now more than ever with the police department. Although this is not a budgeted item, it is being paid for out of the forfeiture funds, the federal forfeiture funds, and is in the amount of $15,394.73. It's funny, we're actually having our one of our first concert contracts, the one in September, is requiring uh, this sort of thing. Uh, Mokina has been good with us. We've been able to use their drones, but it's about time we have our own and have people trained on them. And we do have federal forfeiture funds that they can be used for. Any questions on this? Okay, if not, is there a motion to approve the purchase for the drones? So moved. Second. Motion by Trustee Matson. second by Trustee Wilson. If there's nothing further, roll call vote, please. Trustee Smith? Aye. Trustee Matson. Aye. Trustee Galuza? Aye. Trustee Christofferson? Aye. Trustee Wilson? Aye. Mayor Baldwin? Aye, motion carries. All right, next up is consideration for approval of purchase golf carts for the Crossroads <laughs> Sports Complex. We love to see when uh, these things are happening, knowing it's moving forward. Uh, the Park District uh, does this all the time and uh, has the, the state uh, bid uh, package that they go through. Uh, we'd be able to order two off of theirs so we don't have to worry about any kind of backlog. Um, these uh, golf carts also can be used uh, in the commons. Um, <laughs> actually, they had asked for them earlier this year and we told them no, but now since we're buying them for the, for the sports complex, they'd be able to use them for the commons as well. Uh, but we would uh, just go through the park district for this, so there's no need to, to waive anything. It's just approving the purchase. Why red and blue? Why red and blue? Mm -hmm. I mean, other than that's, that's the what they have. The okay, just complex. wondering. I just yeah. seen I just so seen it, one it, Arctic, it does, Arctic, it Arctic drift blue and then yeah. coral red. I'm thinking, they, they is do. there a reason? I'm thinking, fire department, police well, department. Well, one is, it actually Good. matches our crossroads. Yeah, yeah. Colors. red, white, and blue. And I, and I thought you might take the seat of the old suit out of uh, storage and show up in a blue. <laughs> Not me, buddy. I wouldn't suit. put that suit back on for all. The <laughs> no, thank you. I'm done with those things. Yep. No, that's it. Red and blue. Crossroads. Any questions on that? Nope. Um, I was just a little curious. Um, what did they consider using gators or anything, or is that because of the state bid or? Well, the I mean, color? There, there's <laughs> and, and Jim and I had talked about that as well. There's a, there's a time for gators. It's more of a maintenance thing as well. But for transporting, what we're doing here, uh, for the for moving people back and forth and whatnot, the golf cart is a better option. Okay, uh, I'm thinking more they, on the athletic training or sports they side. They actually have two other ones that were not part of this bid. Yes, there's gotcha. two others that uh, th it's recommended from the sports facilities to have four. Yeah, these two meet what Those. the par partial recommendation. And the other is more. We'll meet that with, with maintenance yes. or with, or with uh, physical the training. Sports yes. Providing water, whatever. Yeah, but, yeah, but when you're moving umpires Humans. and yeah. Yeah, that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Makes sense. Because it's I'm, you've been up there. It's a big mm -hmm. piece of property. It's amazing when, if you really drive around the back and just think about how far this thing stretches. It's it's pretty impressive. So, but yeah, but Jim had asked the same question, and there will be a need for those. Sure. But because they're getting these now through this package, makes sense. It just makes sense. Yeah. All, All right. right. Good questions, both of you. Thank you. All right. If there's nothing else, is there a uh, motion to approve the purchase? So, so moved. Second. Motion by Trustee Christofferson, second by Trustee Smith. If there's nothing further, a roll call vote, please. Trustee Madsen? Aye. Trustee Galuza? Aye. Trustee Christofferson? Aye. Trustee Wilson? Aye. Trustee Smith? Aye. Mayor Balderman? Aye. Motion carries. Fortunately, Lindsay's not here tonight for this, but there's a uh, need a motion to approve the ordinance authorizing the issuance not to exceed $80 million in general obligation bonds, series 2024. This is the second read on that. Are there any other questions on this? <laughs> All right, who wants to take Lindsay's place and make I'll lunch? do it. All right, go ahead. <laughs> so moved. Second? <laughs> second. All right, motion by Trustee Galusa, second by Trustee Madsen. If there's nothing further, roll call vote, please. Trustee Smith? Aye. Trustee Madsen? Aye. Trustee Galusa? Aye. Trustee Christofferson? Aye. Trustee Wilson? Aye. Mayor Balderman? Aye, motion carries, thank you. 
Uh, Robin, do we still need the letter of credit a call? We do. It doesn't expire until July 7th, so we expect to receive it, but we don't have another meeting have between another now meeting, and then. So, so we'll, we'll, if you would approve the resolution, we'll just hold it and hopefully never Perfect. have to act on it. Perfect. Okay, good. That makes sense. All right, so next up is consideration for approval of a resolution demanding certain payment of letter of credit for Lee Creek South Unit 2. Uh, this is for $455,147.53. Uh, you just heard Robin's explanation of it because we won't have another meeting before. Any questions on that? If not, is there a motion to approve the resolution? So moved. Second. All right. Motion uh, by Trustee Smith, second by Trustee Wilson. If there's nothing further, a roll call vote, please. Trustee Smith? Aye. Trustee Wilson? Aye. Trustee Christopherson? Aye. Trustee Galuza? Aye. Trustee Madsen? Aye. Mayor Baldwin? Aye. Motion carries. All right. Um, got our of course our big fireworks uh, display will be coming up on the 4th of july uh smoky robinson on the 6th of july some tickets still available so we encourage people to get out there hopefully we have a beautiful night for it um and that's uh, that's all i have uh, other than dave i'm going to need you to take the second or first meeting in july if you will be here okay yeah no problem. Right, perfect thank you all right that's all i have if there's nothing for me Village Attorney? I have nothing to report. All right, thank you. Village Administrator? Staff is nothing further. All right, thank you. Payroll and disbursements, Trustee Matson. Yes, sir. I make the motion to approve our bi-monthly disbursements in the amount of $4,734,776.56 and a disbursement in the amount of $58,498. In addition to these disbursements, approval is needed for payroll in the amount of $500,000. $718.60 paid on June 14th, 2024. And that is in a formal vote. Second. All right. Motion has been properly moved and seconded. Comments or questions? Roll call vote, please. Trustee Wilson? Aye. Trustee Christofferson? Aye. Trustee Galuza? Aye. Trustee Madsen? Aye. Trustee Smith? Aye. Mayor Baldwin? Aye. Motion carries. Anything else, Keith? No, sir. All right. Brian, you want to say anything tonight? Uh, you're all good. Trusty comments, Trusty Smith. It's getting warm out there. Yeah. Be safe. Be hydrated. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. Trusty Madsen. Have a safe and enjoyable 4th of July, everybody. Be Fair. careful out there. Very good. Trusty Christopherson. I just wanted to congratulate Bella once again at Lincoln Way Central. And um, thank you from her athletic trainers. They had nice, short, quick games and were bored <laughs> the entire time. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Trusty Galuza. Yeah, congrats to Bella. Great family. Known them a long time. And uh, everybody stay safe out there on the 4th. All right, very good. Trustee Wilson? Yeah, I just wish you everyone a safe and happy 4th. All right, thank you. And if you check your watch, it's exactly 722. So there is <laughs> <laughs> there's no need for an executive session tonight. So is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Motion by Trustee Smith, second by Trustee Wilson. All those in favor, signify by a voice vote of aye. 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 Opposed? Aye.